Hey, today what we're going to do is we're going to log in to a Cisco device via its console port from 3,000 miles away. The problem is um, I'm trying to get to my Cisco device and my management network port is down. It's our network that we usually do our out-of-band stuff with. But for some reason, I try SSHing in and I can't get to the port. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into the WTI CPM device, which actually gets us to the bare metal uh, serial port or USB. But on this particular example, it's the serial port. And um, I, I could call service people and have them jump out to the area. It's a little bit remote. It's 2,835 miles from me. It's on the East Coast, and I know it's snowing there right now, and it's two days before Christmas. So I don't think the service people will be too happy about me calling them. Or what we can do is we can um, we can log into the WTI device by SSHing in and we'll enter the password. Here are the things on my power side of the switch, and here is the serial ports that are connected to my WTI CPM uh, console device. So if we connect to port number 9, which is the Cisco device I'm having trouble with, there you go. Now it's exactly like I'm connected to the serial port right next to the box. So I'll enter enable. Let's enter the enable password. And let me look at the management port and find out what the problem is. Okay, looking at it, it looks like it's down for some reason. So it looks like someone issued the shutdown command on it. So let me go in with the configure terminal. And we're going to interface fast ether. I'm going to type it in right. Fast Ethernet 0. Ethernet 0. And we're going to do no shutdown. I'm going to exit. I'm going to exit. Okay, let's look at the fast using our ports again. It looks like it's up. So that's much better. Looking at the addresses, it's definitely the management port. Here's my IP address. So let's try to uh, ping something. Let's let it run its thing. Okay, so it looks like we can connect now. So let me exit out of here and get back to the WTI device and log out of that. And let's try logging into my management port. Okay. And there we go. So now I'm up and running again. And that's how to avoid a service call two days before Christmas. Thanks so much for listening.